Good morning, everyone. This is Mary. You are watching another little piece of my art, and I am here to show you the things that I have recently completed. I'm going to do the coloring pages first, and there is just a couple, so that if you don't want to see any other kind of art type of a thing, you can click out when that's done. But I hope you'll stay with me and see what kind of journey I have been on lately. I've had to, you know, redo the way I use my hands it started out with the one arm and everybody was saying it's probably carpal tunnel and I was like yeah probably because I have had that surgery before and I know I have that issue and now it's moved to the other arm as well so I don't know I'm thinking it could be arthritis and then in that case there's really nothing I can do about it so I just try to not overuse my hands and not um you know press too when you're when you're doing pencil work you know you're you're tensing so hard with your fingers clenched and I tried to not do that so this is what I'm into lately and I hope you will enjoy watching life has taken over been taken over by attempts to move to Florida so um, it's just been crazy you guys I did not know that simply purchasing a place in another state was going to be this difficult but apparently there's a lot of people moving to Florida these days that's all I gotta say about that <laughs> oh, so I did finish in um, spirit animals by Hannah Carlson and this was a gift from T to me and um, I did do this page here uh, it's still drying with the sealer stuff. It's the shiny that you can see. And she does have um, glossy accents on her gem there. Not all the gems, but just the center gem. And I like to put it on the eyeballs. And I think there's some, I think there's some on her teardrops. Yeah. Um, but I had an idea in mind for this because the crab relates to the uh, star sign of cancer. And um, it made me just think of the moon and, you know, because the moon um, controls the tides and whatnot. So I kind of had a little theme going on there with that. And um, I, I wanted her hair to look like it was made out of seaweed. <clears throat> and uh, my moon is obviously uneven. And I even used a compass. And as I was going with it, it just like went so... I need a better compass. Those metal ones from back when I was a kid are much better than the plastic ones, just saying. And I think I used um, mostly my watercolors on this and then except for coming in with the details, like I know on the crab claws here, those were poly polychromos, blah. And then there's different um, gel pens and stuff in there. I kind of think I went too, f too dark in the earrings and it kind of throws it off a little bit, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And I'm not very good with gems. I left the gems to the last, and I had to, like, force myself to finish the gems so I could finish the whole picture. <laughs> and then there's just the little matching spirit animal of the, the crab. And just I wanted just, like, the suggestion of bubbles. I didn't want the bubbles taking over, so I just used a white Prismacolor pencil to just, like, lightly sketch the bubbles in. So, yeah, I'm finally done with that one. These pages, you know, you want them to come out so perfect, so you take your time. So all I have is that one with the um, cicada lady, and this one is all I have so far. Um, let me see. I can see. I'm thinking of doing... Where did it go? I am thinking of doing this one next because this looks like my dog Jackie that passed in January and I may make, I don't know, we'll see how I feel about it. I may save it for his anniversary or I may do it now, but I may make um, the lady's hair match Jack's hair, which was a very uh, Cruella DeVille type of black and white. <laughs> so that should be interesting. But yes, I love this book. Um, it is a treasure. It's, it, I, this one and Dracula are my favorite books that I have. So there's that, guys. No need to just linger on the same page. Now, this one I already showed you last month. Because <clears throat> like I said, I haven't been coloring. But I'm showing it to you again because I, I finished it up. 
This is Malga's Magical Coloring Book, another favorite of mine. And here's this little man made out of all the fishes. And I painted him with a uh, watercolor. I went back in with just a little bit of pencil just to give some areas definition. And then I put my rub-ons on the bottom. And I added bubbles for the fish and a little bit of a background. Nope, no big. But here's my rub-ons. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They are by Crafter Square. And I used about half of them on this page. Um, but I think that that was well worth it because it really, it just adds something to it, right? You could color those in if you like, once you get them down, or you can leave them the way they are. Um, I showed you guys, I think in my last, not my last haul, because my last haul was a mini haul, but I showed you in my last bigger haul, my collection of rub-ons to date. So, um, yeah, that's that's how they come out. And I have ones that are uh, plants, like little pots, potted plants. And I thought they would be really cute right here along the bottom of this page, you know. So that's that one. Okay, now the coloring portion of this video is over, but I'm going to show you some other artsy things that I have been doing so that you don't, you know, you understand that my time is being divided. I'm not just being lazy. <laughs> I have been kind of lazy because it's summer and I want to be outside, but, but you know, I'm not completely lazy. All right, so what did I get on here? Huh. This was a completely clean book yesterday. Now it's a dirty book. I think I got something on it. This is um, called a novel journal. Okay, and this one is Bram Stoker. This is a Dracula one. I have showed, I had showed this when I received it. I can't remember if it was in a haul or a gift. I'm not sure anymore, <clears throat> but I did get it at Ollie's. Now they used to sell these at Walmart as well. I remember my daughter purchasing one for a friend of hers who was graduating. I think it was Alice in Wonderland or something. So if you don't like the dark theme, you know, there's other ones that you can get. Um, but I, it had been sitting and sitting, and I was like, it's so pretty, I want to do something with it. So, let me explain how it works. <clears throat> so, you can write on each one of these lines, just as if you were writing, you know, in a journal. But upon closer look, you can see that the lines are made out of words from the novel. Whatever novel you choose. Uh, this one, Dracula, I like love that story, but it was the only one to choose and I got this from Ollie's. I can't remember if my husband bought it for me and gift, gifted it to me like for an occasion or if I bought it, I can't remember, but I know it came from Ollie's. I think it was about $2.99. <clears throat> so it sat around and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. And then I got a little bit of a uh, um, idea for something fun. Now this is, you know, this is just for my own self to get my mind creatively thinking about words and images. That's all it is. It means nothing, you know, when you look at it. So what I did was I went through the lines where, where the words are, and I highlighted just interesting passages, just interesting little, um, for, for example, this one's right here says, this road is in summertime excellent. And I thought that was just a cool turn of a phrase, so to speak. So I highlighted all of those, and then I just wrote them as if it was some kind of prose or poem. It makes no sense at all, but I just thought it would be a fun, a fun exercise. <clears throat> and then when that was finished, um, a picture kind of came to me because of the words that they use in this novel. So I just, uh, oh, my son is texting me. Um, I just sketched it out. Um, it was something about a a fiery tongue, or I, I can't remember now, it's been a while, a snake in some kind of like village or buildings. So I just sketched it out and uh, colored it in with watercolor. It's just a fun, a fun exercise to get your creativity going. And, um, it, you know, make you think about words in a different way, I guess. So I have tons more pages to go. I can do this exercise whenever I want. I really enjoyed it. It was just, 
it's fun to to not have a perceived idea in mind of how something is supposed to look at the end and just let yourself play so thought I would share that and as far as I know Ollie's does not have these anymore um I am going to Ollie's today, as a matter of fact, because I am out of vitamins. So I'm going to check, make sure, uh, see if they do or they don't. If they do, I might pick a couple up and save one for a future giveaway if you're interested in something like that. I'm still not at 500 subscribers. I have been trying for a long time to get there, but I'm not there. So I do have some things put aside for that giveaway, and hopefully that happens soon. <laughs> okay, so there's that, guys. Um, okay, now I have showed you my collaging book, and I thought I would just give you a, a brief flippy flippy of whatever is new in there. Uh, some things are still in the progress, and some things are finished. I call this one pretty much done. I did add some, some photos here and there. Um, like, we're local, I put a picture of the local uh, watering hole, like directly right by my house where we were at a um, party on St. Patrick's Day and just added a few little, I, oh, here's my little Annie, Annie M, when she got her, her uh, grooming done this year, this summer. She needs to go back already. So that's that one. This one is the orange page I guess and I put a little photo of my other doggy that's Toto we call her a little bit and there's just some other uh, fun things there um, Gwen Stefani and Christina I forget her last name decided just their heads are sunbathing just they brought their heads <laughs> that's my daughter <clears throat> excuse me I'm having some allergy issues today um, this is the Jersey Shore last summer. So that's that one. I think my yellow page is pretty much the, still the same as the way it was when I last showed you. So is my green one. <clears throat> Haven't got very far on that one either. Uh, blue I think is still the same. I, I might have added some more stickers. There is a picture of my granddaughter uh, with the Easter Bunny who is aka my son. <laughs> and purple's the same. Um, I did do some a little bit more outlining around this page. I just do not like the way this page kind of came out. It is too... I don't know what the problem is. I think it just blends too much together. I'm gonna order some more paint pens and see if that helps. Or maybe add something more dimensional to it. But I just I just do not like the way this one came out. Even though I you know, tried adding some little doodles and stuff. It's just, whoa. But hey, not every page is gonna be perfect. You're not, you're not going to love it. Uh, so here's my pink page. I found this picture of Miss Scarlett O'Hara, and I think I'm going to place her somewhere like here. Maybe, maybe there. Like that. So that's all I have for that page at the moment. Um, this page is my brown page, and I absolutely love the way this came, page came out. Uh, this this is my son and I dancing at his wedding, and we used to play this game when he was little called "Let's Go Drive Until We Get Lost." And I would drive in the I would be driving, not him, <laughs> and he would say left or right at every cross street, and we would purposely try to get lost, and then see if we could find our way back home. It was just you know something to do. Um, but I did use some, I, this is a stamp, a rubber stamp I have that looks like sewing. I love that stamp. And um, these here are Tim Holtz paper dolls. You can buy those in a big pack at Hobby Lobby. So, um, and then I used a punch for some of these little leaves. And 
yeah, I just really like the way this one came out. I think it's cute. And that's it on that, I believe. Yep. Oh, no, in the back I was playing with um, making, it's long ways, making like paper dolls. So um, this is Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, I forget her real name, <laughs> with a paper doll outfit and she's holding um, Kelly Osborne's head <laughs> in her hand like a gift or a cake or something and the cake is her actual hat and then um, the balloons are made out of some other Avril Lavigne and Lucy Liu and Scarlett Johansson's heads um, and then somewhere I had a little piece that said by invitation only so yeah they're just gonna go to some strange weird party and we're not invited and that's probably a good thing so that's all I have in there <clears throat> all right um, I did do so I remember I remember showing you guys this write a line a day forever journal it's supposed to last you 28 years if you write just one line a day in it um, and so I have just been personalizing it I have painted the inside used the quotes uh, this says, may your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of change shift. And that's Bob Dylan. I have to flip off camera because I never know. <laughs> There's going to be any personal, you know, like a dress or something. I've um, been working on this page. Just this is a little face that I painted um, when I was testing out the candy colored watercolors that I have. And then I started a mandala, didn't finish it, uh, found a quote that I like. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. So that's there. Um, okay, I'm going to cover this up. Uh, so then I just started to just draw funny little critters and creatures and paint those in on this page. This one is just cut, done in crayons. And... Um, I don't know, it just makes me happy to see bright, bright things. And then when I write in it, it's not so, you know, like diary-ish. And then here's my little creature that I have made. I think his name is Mac. I don't know. I wrote it in pencil because I haven't decided. But he's like an owl alien fish-eyed guy. <laughs> but I think he's adorable. And um, I like to make little, you know, weird critters that are completely my own. Um, I did steal the nose off of Courtney. Courtney is Little Raven Inc. She's one of my favorite artists. I've been following her for years, 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 and years. But her, her person was completely different looking, but I did like the way she did this little beaky nose. So I stole that from her. Thank you, Courtney. You're so gracious. You never get mad when anybody steals any of your ideas. That's what I love about you. And then the rest of it, I'm not going to show you because really it's just, you know, my writing. And uh, it's going to be, you know, personal. So that's that. Okay. Then <laughs> I was gifted this. This is a Heidi Swap uh, Traveler's Notebook. Um, this one I use, pretty much kind of keep it on the kitchen table. I use it to, you know, like write lists of what I got to get and there's also um, a, a calendar in there so I know what day I have to do something um, I wouldn't want to put all that in a diary because that will fill up that diary book and in years from now I'm not going to really care that I needed to get cereal on Tuesday you know I'm just going to want the important things so this one is you know it has the it has the ability to hold two notebooks, which makes it a little bit heavy. I do have two notebooks. Two notebooks came with it, um, but in here right now, I just have the one notebook and a little folder that I just made through together really quick to hold my stickers uh, so that I, you know, they're always right there. So let me see. This was started in July. Um, this is just, you know, your to-dos and whatnot. You know, you're not going to be interested in that. But uh, it does have a 
area on the side here where it's graph paper and you can do whatever you want with that and I did enjoy using that to um, kind of work through my little guy you know that I just showed you that I made I don't know you know you could use the the paper for other things um, you know but I just like to make little sketches on there so that's what I got going on in there y'all all right, we're at 20 minutes now. I'm gonna try to get th through this next part really fast because my phone stops at 33 minutes. This is my composition notebook. I started it in March of 2021 while I was in New Jersey. Um, I have done many composition notebooks. In fact, I was looking for one, complete one to show you, but I couldn't find one, so I think they must be in storage. Uh, th this one here, um, people are giving me and I'm using and getting gifted all kinds of little pieces of clothing and things like that to make these cool tabs. So I think that they look really cool on the side of your book. Um, and um, right now I'm in the process of gluing pages together to make them thicker and then just putting in my tabs and... Um, scrapbook paper, you know, you know, the stuff that you do when you do a glue book, um, stuff from old coloring books and old journals, and then there's like pieces of ephemeron magazines from when I was staying at my friend's house, and she had different types of magazines than I had, uh, so I used what she had, and then there's like stuff I bought while I was there like this receipt is for the blue army shrine gift shop which was a really cool um religious themed gift shop that I loved and then this baggie I put in there to hold some receipts and things I'll probably throw them away later but for right now that's where they are uh quotes and me trying to to do mandalas in fact I showed you guys um, from my last Ollie's haul the book the books on drawing mandalas that I bought I will use this this journal to do those in because I want to learn how to do it properly and that wastes a lot of paper and in this kind of book you know you pay 50 cents or a dollar for these you don't care if you waste paper and it's bigger so and that's what I'll be doing with this one is um, going through those books and we'll do some lessons together on how to do some of those mandalas and different uh, exercises that were there. So, yeah. Uh, just more drawing and then just some weird because it's like I said I had to use whatever was at my friend's house to make little you know glue book just stick things in and your little tabbies help you to flip the page here's all kinds of stuff that I apparently got you know at Christmas or gifted or I don't know <laughs> uh. Here is a, what is this called? A baby wipe. A baby wipe that I spilled something and it kind of looked like a tie-dye, so I dried it off and just shoved it in the book. When you when you start putting your stuff in these books and it starts getting fat like this, you're going to need to add support. So um, I started in the middle, opened the book to the middle and added a string and then opened the book to a third one way and a third the other way and added some string so that it doesn't pull out from the you know from the cover but anyways yeah this is what I got some of the pages I just lay a little bit of watercolor down there's watercolor sets that I have that I'm trying to get rid of you know trying to use up so that I don't have to move them and this is a great way to just do that just when you're sitting around lay down some color this is a lady that I drew and um, I made the hair so big because I thought well it would be neat to um, Zen doodle inside the black hair so you know we'll try that and see how that works it'll be fun 
And then just some pages from coloring books that are long gone, but I liked the image, so I saved it. And that one. And again, more, you know, images that I just I cut out what I wanted to keep of it. What is that? Oh, my dog's got new dresses at 4th of July. And more coloring book images. More coloring book images. This, I made a pocket, so I just glued the edges and left this part open. A little flippy. Testing pens. Other book images. Other coloring book images and Little Mermaid that I drew. <clears throat> Uh, I think this was from a National Geographic, and I really liked this picture. Some Star Wars socks. This is from Jane Davenport. I didn't like the skin color that I have here because that's all I had to work with in the crayons I was using. So I just popped her in here. Oh my gosh, this is so old. We made these paper flowers years ago. I mean, I'm talking 10, 12 years ago. This was like the last one. So I used that up. And then some lyrics, um, quotes. I haven't done anything with those pages yet. But that's where we're getting with this. And you will be seeing more of this because I'm going to do my lessons in here. That's what I was getting at with those new books that I bought. So that's it, guys. That's all I have to show you that I have worked on um, in the last month. And um, look forward to seeing you back here for... Hopefully an Ollie's haul because I am going today. I don't know if there'll be anything. So if you don't see anything, then it was a bust. But um, yeah, if I find anything cool, I'll be back to show you. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.